All right, good morning, YouTube. It is your boy, Bon Kai Phoenix, and I hope y'all are enjoying yourselves on this lovely Thursday morning. Before we get into this reaction video, I did want to let y'all know that the reaction video you're about to see was recorded yesterday, the 29th, and you're probably asking yourself, well, if you recorded this video yesterday, why didn't you upload it yesterday? Well, the answer is simple. I was having some internet issues, so I wasn't able to upload the video when I wanted to. Every time that I thought I would be able to upload it, my internet would crash and it just sucked. And thankfully, my internet wasn't crashing at all this morning, so yay me. So yeah, I hope you all do enjoy this reaction video. I did enjoy making it and I'm sorry that it took so long to actually upload a reaction video and it's been a while, so I really I'm sorry about that. So let's go ahead and get into this reaction video. Enjoy. Alright, good morning YouTube, it is your boy Bonkai Finks, and I hope y'all are enjoying yourselves on this lovely Wednesday morning. I am sorry that I haven't uploaded any videos this past week, but I've been super busy with work, and I've been super busy trying to make sure that my affairs are in order before the end of February. Um, but yeah, we're not here to talk about me, we're here to make another reaction video. And uh, this is a celebratory reaction video for my channel hitting 2,000 total watch hours with all of my videos that I've uploaded since the beginning of December. Uh, I wanted to thank y'all so much. I greatly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I wouldn't have been able to hit that mark if it wasn't for you folks out there who have been watching my videos, subscribing to my channel, as well as, you know, make, giving me advice, giving me criticism, giving me suggestions on what I should do with my channel, uh, giving me suggestions on who you think I should react to next. But, so this is a celebratory reaction video, and we are going to be revisiting a band that I have not reacted to in quite some time. Uh, I've reacted to three of their songs, and two of them were basically the same song. One was just without a, a guest vocal. The other one uh, was with a guest vocal. Did I, I don't even know what I just said anymore, but... We are revisiting The Who, and we are going to be reacting to their song UA UA U, the original version of UA UA U. Uh, somebody actually recommended that I should listen to the original version because the original does it justice better than the guest vocal cover with um, uh, Daniel or David or whoever the lead vocal vocalist is from the band From Ashes to New. So... Yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, link to the original video will be down in the description box below, so make sure you go and check it out if you guys want to at the end of the video. As well, if you are new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you are notified whenever it is I upload new videos. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this.
the juice that's between me way way If he runs a mobile head, a mark the Lord died in your way way So one of the th I, I really am enjoying this a lot. Um, I always wondered what UA UAU meant, and you know now that I know, it's you know it's definitely definitely very interesting uh, for it to mean how strange. At least I think that's what it means. I'm hoping that uh, the translation software that YouTube uses for their videos is actually correct. Um, but yeah, it's definitely interesting. Uh, and it seems like listening to the song and reading uh, along with them singing, seems like they're talking about their Mongolian heritage, their Mongolian he uh, ancestry. Uh, basically what makes the Mongols Mongols. So yeah, it's definitely a very interesting uh, concept of a song. Um, one of the things that I noticed was how this song is uh, so much different, so much more different without the lead vocalist from the band From Ashes to New singing on there. Uh, I was half expect, I literally kept in the back of my head, I'm just like, you know, hearing bow down before uh for our betrayal and when i didn't hear it i'm just like wow it just sounds way way different um uh as well uh i'm really uh, I, i'm really enjoying this a lot more than the accompaniment version uh i still have you know i think over two minutes left in the song to be to actually make a fi final determination but i really am enjoying this song uh definitely enjoying it a lot more than the accompaniment version so yeah let's go ahead let's go ahead and get back into this so uh all right
All right. Wow. That was uh, that was very interesting. I definitely did enjoy that a lot. Um, one of the things that was on my mind while listening to the song, it's, it's actually been on my mind since I actually started listening to The Who, was how do they achieve the style of singing that they use, the Mongolian throat singing. Um, and I'm wondering, do they sound the same live as they do on, like, you know, their studio albums? And the reason why I say this is because uh, I've seen bands that sound dramatically different from what they sound like uh, on their studio album compared to their live version. Like, their studio album sounds a lot better than, say their live version or like for example in nightwish's case uh nightwish sounds a lot better and does a lot better live than their studio albums um i give an example of like say for example uh the metal core genre metal core tends to sound the same uh when comparing the studio album versions of songs compared to like live album versions um uh miss may i uh atreyu uh who else could there who else is there uh yeah uh, right now that's the only ones i can think of but uh yeah they definitely uh sound good i'm wondering how they sound live uh and it's very interesting and possibly uh, not really possibly, but it's uh, very interesting and different to be able to hear the original song in its entirety without that accompaniment, as I said before. Uh, again, song was really good. Uh, this one right here is definitely going to be added to my Spotify playlist along with the other uh, Who songs that I've reacted to, Wolf Totem, uh, the original, and the one with Jacoby Shaddix. Uh, and UA UA U, both the original and the uh, w the one with uh, From Ashes to New. So, yeah, uh, thank you to the person who actually did suggest that I listen to the original version. I can't believe I actually skipped listening to the original version compared to uh, the accompaniment version. So, if you can accept my apologies, I appreciate it so much. So, yeah. Uh, I hope y'all do enjoy the rest of your day today, and uh, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to uh, like the video, make sure to comment whatever you feel is necessary. Uh, if you have an approval, please comment it. If you have a denial, go ahead and comment it. Uh, if you have any suggestions on what you think I should react to next, as well as what you think I should do with my channel going forward, go ahead and comment that. Uh, as well, if you have a friend out there who really does enjoy listening to music and would love to hear new music, but hear it from a reactor's perspective, go ahead and hit that share button, because I would like to be able to get out there to as many people as possible, and I can't do it without your guys' help. As well, if you are new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. It's literally to the right of that subscribe button. And I hope y'all do enjoy the rest of your day today. I know I said this already, but I hope y'all do enjoy the rest of your day today. Uh, keep each other elevated. Keep each other lifted. Keep each other positive. Because as you know, there is so much negativity in the world. We don't need any more of it. We need more positivity throughout the world. We need more animals in our lives. We need a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day today. And I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace.